Hi everyone, my name is Lily Zhang and welcome to another video of Meet Team Yola. So today I'm here with Daniel Havasan. Mm -hmm. Daniel is from the Austrian national team and he is the 2012 and 2018 European doubles champion as well as the 2015 European teams champion. So thank you so much for coming today, taking the time to talk to us. How are you? <laughs> thank you, I'm very good, I'm fine. I'm a little bit tired because I woke up very early, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's good to hear. Um, so you've achieved so many titles uh, throughout your entire career. Do you have one that's the most memorable? Um, it's uh, every title is uh, memorable. So for me, there were some special moments. The first one, of course, is special because it's a new feeling. Um, but the last one, I can say, was a little bit more special because me and my doubles partner, Robert Gardosh, we had a um, little bit trouble. So we, we had problems we didn't understand that good uh, in private as well as in, on the table, like in the double. So yeah, we tried to fall together again and yeah, it uh, paid off. So and we were very happy to, to win a title again. You know. And you're talking about the European championships. Exactly yes. the whole, yeah, exactly the, the whole year and like one and a half years we were not playing good also on the world tour. And um, before the European championships, uh, we spoke together. Uh, I called him and I was asking if we want to try really hard again to prepare like before. And he agreed, he came to Austria because he's living in Spain. Uh, we went to special double preparation. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so in the end, we were very happy that uh, in this case, we won the title. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk to us a little bit about the emotions running through your head after you guys won the title? Um, yeah, it's <laughs> like, uh, wow, again, <laughs> this was my first feeling. Um, yeah, for me it was very emotional also because um, my mother was there, she's usually nowhere and um, yeah, so she saw it, she could celebrate with me mm -hmm. and uh, this was for me a very emotional moment because she raised me in table tennis, she did everything that uh, I had the possibility to be a good player mm -hmm. and uh, for me this moment was um, like when I saw her in her eyes, she's so happy and so proud. This was for me like, um, I can say heartbreaking. Oh. And yeah, I also started to cry when I saw her, she's crying and yeah, this was very emotional for me. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Before you switched to the Energon blade, um, it was very interesting to see the a handle of your blade being wrapped in uh, edge tape. Why would you do this as opposed to, you know, a rubber grip? I uh, did it also now with the Energon. Uh, oh. I don't know, I, I, I'm just used to it, I can say. Mm -hmm. For me, it's more comfortable, it's like more grippy. Um, because uh, I was always a little bit like, when I was sweating so much, it was moving. And um, yeah, before I had a normal band, but then I, the, it somehow it broke and uh, I had just this edge band. <laughs> and that's <laughs> why I covered it with this. And I said, okay, it's uh, like also comfortable for me. And I yeah, stayed with Yola because it's a Yola one. It's for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's why I stay with this one. Yeah. Would you say it's like a superstition now or do you have any other superstitions? Um, to be honest, I had, but uh, not anymore. I'm more relaxed. But uh, yeah, I also had uh, some things like um, I didn't want to go to shower before the match because I did before always. Then I lost one match and then never again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like, no, I, I made shower, I, I, I did shower, but uh, not like directly before the match, because right, before okay. it was like uh, some kind of superstitious from me and uh, yeah. So, but now I don't have any more, just this uh, edge band is yeah, Okay, what so I now keep, you just uh, play, you play. Now I just play, yeah. <laughs> ITTF named your behind the back shot against uh, Mylene and Hal Shea, uh, one of the most breathtaking shots of that year. Do you remember that shot and was it pure instinct or was it something you had practiced before? Um, I didn't practice it before, like just for fun. Sometimes I tried. Um, yeah, this was a very lucky shot, um, especially in this moment. Uh, but I hit it also like in the league a few times already. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> but this uh, was a different case because it was really it was in quarterfinal world championships, like television table. Yeah, it was really special. Also, I, in this moment, I didn't know if I should laugh or not because <laughs> it was a serious moment, you know, it was important. And yeah, 
but in now if I if I see this shot I'm also thinking like uh, I was so stupid I should like celebrate a little bit more I was so serious in this moment mm -hmm. yeah it was really lucky I can say yeah, yeah but also you don't want to like break your con concentration yeah that's know, why so. because especially my double partner he's very serious always mm -hmm. and I was a little bit afraid of him I can say <laughs> if I start to make some like jokes uh, that yeah. he's angry at me yeah <laughs> I actually remember watching that point. It was in France, right? Yes, yeah, exactly, yeah, I saw the whole crowd just exploded. Yes, yes. <laughs> it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It was pure fear from Gadosh that I didn't celebrate. Okay, got it. <laughs> Next yes. time though. Next time. Next time I know, yeah. <laughs> so given that you've had so much success in doubles, uh, would you call yourself a double specialist? Um, and why do you like to play doubles? Um, I think uh, I'm just used to my partner. Um, so we play a long time already together and this is i think the most important you know where the other one is moving what's happening i like it's instinct already i know he will play this shot to this position and i'm moving already even the opponent wasn't is not playing the ball yet so yeah i think we're just very good together mm -hmm. um yeah and i have a lot of fun because if you have success once you're like highly motivated and the self-confidence is there so yeah, yeah, I think I play quite good double also in the league. I many times when I played, I won. So yeah, I have a lot of self-confidence, I can say, <laughs> in doubles, yeah. Would you say you like playing doubles more or singles more? No, I sure singles, uh, singles. yeah, this of course. But doubles is, um, I can say, is interesting because anything can happen. So mm -hmm. you can beat everybody, like uh, all kind of doubles. And uh, that's why I think it's also s uh, really interesting for me and um, yeah but of course singles I create myself what I want and it's different feeling in singles yeah, yeah. Um, when it was announced that you were signing with post Esval Neuhausen president Thomas Bayer said that you fit uh, very well with the club as an emotionally and strong fighting player uh, do you find this to be true and how has it been being with the club um, yeah, it was um, not just my decision to go there and mm -hmm. to be honest, also my wife, she influenced me a lot because I had some offers and um, yeah, my wife said, okay, Germany is like um, very close, it's the same language, you will feel comfortable. I heard also the club is very good from other players. Yeah, and then um, I signed with the club and uh, the president was so happy and yeah. Then he said already he as like he knew me. He saw me already in television and this, and yeah, I was always emotional player, um, like sometimes a little bit too much emotion. But uh, a fighting player is true. I fight for every ball. I want to win. Doesn't matter if I play like a non-important match or very important, of course. And um, yeah, I they thought I would fit perfect in the team because of my fighting spirit and to be a leader because I came from a big club and yeah, I think I managed quite good to, to be the person he wanted. Okay, yeah. And you said that um, you have a family and your wife influenced you. Mm. Um, how is it being able to, you know, travel so much and, you know, try to be mm. a father and a husband as well? Uh, it's quite difficult sometimes because I have two kids and um, yeah, this, this year I'm really traveling very much. And yeah, I'm a family guy, so I want to be a father. I was always helping my wife to like wake up in the morning to feed the kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was hard to travel that much. I was calling every day, like uh, FaceTime or video chat, whatever. And yeah, for the family, it's also very hard because my wife is alone with two kids and uh, yeah, they always ask, where's Papa, where's Papa? Mm -hmm. So it's really hard for her and for me. So yeah. But now I'm in the age I practice less, I can say, <laughs> so I use the time for family. Okay. Yeah, but uh, soon I will have more time, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and your, your kids are three and six. Exactly. Respectively. Yeah. Um, mm. Do you want them to play table tennis in the future? I don't know. With my son, he's six. Um, I try to start now a little bit, but not, uh, not with the goal already to be a professional table tennis player. I just want to show him table tennis to make sport because he's doing also other sports and yeah I will see I think it's always difficult if uh, if the parents teach the kid so yeah. I start and if I see okay he has fun in table tennis 
he will uh, get another teacher and I will tell him some advice only. Yeah, <laughs> yeah did your parents ever play or is, are you speaking from experience? <laughs> yeah, just my mother. She played okay. and um, yeah. But I know many like parents, they say it's not possible to teach the kid and also heard stories and you read everywhere mm -hmm. about this. And I know it because I teach him skiing and he was always speaking against like <laughs> Didn't matter what I said, always he had some answers and uh, yeah, so I think it will be difficult. If not, I will teach him of course, but uh, if it's not like this, he will get uh, another trainer. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your equipment? What are you currently using and what was the process to choosing the right equipment for you? So right now I'm uh, using the Yola Energon blade uh, with the ry uh, rhythm, well, sorry, riser rubbers because before I played the rhythm and yeah, I'm already a long time uh, with Yola and I always try to play new rubbers, new plates. They were asking to try this one, this one to improve the, the things. And yeah, right now I'm quite satisfied. I play hard rubbers mm -hmm. and yeah, I think it's a good combination for me now because I also play very good in the league, international, I play good now. So yeah, there is now no time, uh, no need to change anymore, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. So last question, uh, why Yola? Because uh, they gave me their trust when I was a cadet player and yeah, since now I'm always satisfied, we have good uh, connection, like uh, everybody's very friendly, yeah. I'm really satisfied and also the, the rubbers, the plates are good now, so I can't complain. That's awesome, just one big happy family. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. All right, Daniel, thank you so much you. for joining us today. Um, this was another episode of Meet Team Yola and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to like and comment on the video and subscribe to our channel. Check the description for all our social media handles and stay updated on the latest and most recent news. Bye guys.